state government has urged locals to be watchful in protecting petroleum pipelines and to report any suspicious activities by vandals to appropriate authorities. The Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources I made this call at a stakeholders forum and public education session for communities hosting oil at the gas pipelines in Ejibu, Igbe Dimo, Alimosho, and Oshudi Sola local council development areas of the state. And the theme was preventing recurrent explosions and vandalism on petroleum products pipeline in Lagos State. The government said its goal is to eliminate fire outbreaks caused by pipeline vandalism and reduce to the absolute minimum the frequency of gas line explosions. Right now, it will be easier for state government to engage the, the organization since it is now limited ability to ensure if you do this, you need to pay back to the community. And I, I, I can't suffer for what I do not cause, I with me. And they need to now to think of plan their infrastructure properly. And that's what they need to do. And ensure maintenance is adequate, policing is of those infrastructure to ensure, and to ensure, we will ensure there's no encroachment. Ordinarily, the NNPC owns the pipeline. There should be a kind of uh, usage of technology to do monitoring of the pipeline. We should drive much on prevention rather than reaction to disaster. The government is really trying and governments have their love attacks. The residents should try as much as possible to be responsible to their duties. The government has a duty to play, likewise we citizens. So what I will advise the residents is for them to be cooperative with government. Let's return to the story. We are tracking the Central Bank of Nigeria directing commercial banks to begin the payment of the new narrow notes to customers over the counter. Joining us live is Aliyu Audu, Vice President, Nigerian Irish Business Association. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. A number of people have uh, criticized the timing of this redesign. What is your take? Thank you very much, Bosidi. Yes, um, from the beginning, I've told you that the whole policy was wrongly introduced. And this is not the best of times to introduce such a policy. Now, if, if you want to change, changing the currency of a nation is a very major thing. And normally, you leave a window of about a one year at least, not two or three months. Now, this is the problem we are facing. From the beginning, I came out and criticized it. This is the problem we are facing now. There's cash crunch. And now, for you to even access your money on ATMs is almost impossible. You go to ATMs, uh, you go to POS handlers, they're charging you a lot of money. And this is bringing unnecessary inflation into the economy. But so I'm the timing of the policy is totally wrong. Mm -hmm. And the policy implementation is also wrong. Thank you very much. All right. So the timing and then policy implementation. But now the central bank has stepped in and has directed commercial banks to pay out these new notes to customers over the counter. Uh, could that in some way ameliorate uh, the challenge people are having with it? Yes, definitely. Anything that gives people more money will help. But let's not forget, my worry is the time frame. You, they've extended it for another 10 days. Even three months is not enough. And, you know, uh, commercial banks have been given about two months from December till January to do this. Three months is not enough. So my complaint is targeted at the time frame. We need one year. So whatever this, uh, the CBN has come out to say that, um, you know, they're going to give more money to commercial banks. Commercial banks can now pay to customers over the counter. That is going to reduce uh, the cash crunch but it's not going to solve the problem totally. Mm. Thank you very much. All right. So, Ms. Aldo, do you perceive this could have some political undertone? Because already we have one of the governors, that uh, Governor Nasser el Rafai, coming out to say there are some elements at, uh, you know, in Asso Rock who are actually using some of these policies to work against the candidates of the party. 
Yeah, right from the beginning, I have criticized it because when the police was introduced, we were told that they are trying to catch bandits. Now, you know, uh, and I came out and said, it doesn't make sense because that's going to affect people are now going to move into dollars. Exactly what happened. The currency, Nigerian, uh, the dollar rate became very expensive. And this is where we are now. From the beginning, I knew it was not economic. This is politics we are playing. And you cannot use the economy to play politics. That is the problem. So if you use the economy to play politics, you are only going to have political solutions. You're not going to have economic uh, solution. And that is what is driving the majority of Nigerians into this cash crunch. There is inflation because now if you want to get your money, Naira is being sold at a very high amount. You can't get Naira now. If you go to the bank, you have to go for a very long time. So this is bringing in unnecessary and untold hardship on Nigerians, and especially with this false capacity. This is just going to make inflation go worse and bring economic hardship more and more Nigerians. This is unfair. The timing is wrong, and the policy implementation is wrong. So as an Thank economist... Uh, what would be your advice or what would what solutions would you proffer at this time? Exactly what I've said before. Give enough time. They should give an extension for the uh, uh, cash swap to June or July. Give Nigerians enough time. Why are we hurrying? You know, let's not bring politics into economics. You will never help Nigerians, so you never solve any economic situations if you bring politics into economics. You create unnecessary hardship. Unnecessary hardship. So oh. my advice is extend the time. There's no need for us to hurry, to say, okay, we want to exchange. Now, to give the CBN more time to bring the new uh, currency available, they should extend it to June, so that Nigerians should take their time, so that um, the commercial bank can manage customers and you know, gradually, gradually drain the old Naira and introduce the Naira. The time uh, uh, period is given is too short, and that is what is causing these problems now. So all I can tell the, uh, tell the CBN is to give an extension of time to June or July. Well, the National Assembly is towing the same line, calling for an extension by six months, which will be by uh, July the 31st. Aliyu Aldo is VP of Nigerian Irish Business Association. Thank you for your time on TVC News at 7. The governor of Kaduna State, Nasser El Rafai, has denied any rift between the president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, and the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Ashwa Jabalatinobu, as speculated in some reports. The governor spoke earlier on TVC News political program, Journalists Hangout, describing President Buhari as a man of integrity who will not jeopardize the effort of his party in the forthcoming elections. On the opinion poll fronting the candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, to win the presidential election, the governor says Mr. Obi cannot win the polls. After his reaction, it will be time for business news. President Buhari gave birth to the APC, along with Asiojibo Latinubu and Ogbonaya Onu and so, some people. He will never work against the APC. He will never do that. He may not go out of his way to help us like other presidents used to do, rig elections for their party. He has that integrity. He will not lift a finger to give us an advantage, but he will never, never work against us. It is not true. It is those elements that are doing these things and using his name. I know Buhari well enough to swear by the Quran and by the Almighty God, and I'm a Muslim, that he will never be part of that. None of them even has the audacity to even approach him on the subject. And President Buhari will go to other campaign stops. You will see going forward. But you have to understand he has the primary responsibility of running the country. How can Peter Obi win any election? Peter Obi is polling 1% in Sokoto, 2% in Kazina, 5% in Kanu. That's why the votes are. All states are not equal. The fact that you are doing 70% in Anambra State does not mean somebody doing 10% in Kano is not better than you. Kano is 4 million votes that actually happen. Anambra is what? The, the number of votes in Anambra is the size of one local government in Kaduna State. So all states are not equal.
If you poll states and you make them equal, yes, Peter Obi will sweep uh, the southeastern states. He will do well in south-south. Where else? He's not polling well in the uh, southwest, other than a drop in the ocean in Lagos. He is polling in the Christian enclaves in the north. He's polling well. But how many are they? How many? Peter Obi cannot win the election. He doesn't have the number of states. He doesn't have 25% in more than, the last time we checked, in more than uh, 16 states. He can't go anywhere. Peter Obi is a Nollywood actor, and that's all he will be.